Well, well, both sides in the Aer Lingus pay dispute have been laying out their latest positions this evening as their passengers wait anxiously for some sign of a possible breakthrough. Tens of thousands of the airline's customers are facing severe disruption as the row deepens and the full impact will start to be felt in the coming days. Well, earlier, the Thornishta hit out strongly at both sides, saying it's shocking the extent to which the needs of the travelling public are being ignored and willfully put to one side. At a time when families are usually counting down the days to their summer holidays, instead they're waiting to find out the impact IALPA's industrial action might have on their trips. Disruption to Aer Lingus flights is due to start on Wednesday and there's no sign yet of how long it might last or if it might escalate. This morning came an intervention from the Taunashe. To think of the many thousands of families um, and workers across the country, this is the one time in their lives or in a year that they get an opportunity to travel for their holidays, they've planned for these, they've saved for these. It's shocking that they're being ignored and willfully, if you like, put to one side. He urged both sides to use the Labour Court's existing recommendations and enter into negotiations. Uh, there's only one way to resolve this, uh, is through negotiations and getting around the table. It, it is that simple, by the way, um, and all disputes end. Uh, and the most effective way that they end is by utilising the industrial relations machinery that we have available in the state, which is WRC, um, the Labour Court. Yesterday, Aer Lingus said they are available for meaningful direct discussions with IALPA, but today the pilots' union said they would only come to the table if there isn't terms attached to the talks. They've set that uh, request with preconditions. We don't accept that there are preconditions to discussions. However, we are discussing their preconditions with them. But we have availability of numerous meeting rooms in our offices. We are happy for the company management to come down and talk to us directly at any time. But already caught up in the chaos are thousands of passengers who are booked onto flights which have already been cancelled, including those affected by the eight-hour all-out strike due to take place on Saturday. By Brahms, Virgin Media News. Right, let's get the latest now in this dispute. Our news correspondent, Zara King, is at IALPA headquarters in Dublin for us this evening. So this evening then, Zara, what are both sides saying? Well, Glenn, it's really interesting because when you talk to both sides, they'll say that both of them want to have discussions, they want to have conversations and they want to get around the table. But as you heard in Biber's report there uh, earlier today, the concern of IALPA was that they felt that Aer Lingus had preconditions about going to talks, whereas I spoke to Aer Lingus within the last hour and they're saying, no, we don't have any preconditions. They say that we have been repeatedly seeking to look at ways in which we could increase pilots' pay, but they say they also want to have conversations about improvements to productivity and flexibility. So they're saying no preconditions, we're open Open to that discussion. Let's take a listen to what Donald Moriarty from Aer Lingus had to say in the last hour. No, it's not a precondition. Discussing productivity and flexibility is a normal aspect of industrial relations negotiation on pay. Uh, for IALPA to be unable to discuss that is a very unusual uh, restriction on their part. So it's not a precondition, it's rather a normal aspect of pay negotiation. Well, we left the Aer Lingus headquarters at Dublin Airport and we drove five minutes down the road here to the IALPA headquarters where IALPA was meeting with pilots, with their members, and they say their members uh, remain steadfast in their fight for that pay increase. But we spoke to Captain Mark Ty again in the last half an hour and we said to him, look, Aer Lingus has told us they have no preconditions. How do you feel about that? And here's what he had to say. I'm very pleased to hear that. That is a new departure and we are waiting for a, a suggested time and place to have that meeting. OK, so earlier when we spoke to you, you said there were some preconditions. Are you, is it your belief that those are off the table now? Um, at the moment, but they've, uh, that's news to me, uh, what you just said there now. So I assume that they're going to approach negotiations as they should be approached, which is without prejudice to either party, and they can talk about whatever they want. Well, Colette, anyone watching on this evening, including ourselves, you would say that both sides are eager to talk. It's going to take somebody to blink first and book the meeting room and organise that meeting. IALPA saying they're happy to meet with Aer Lingus on a neutral ground, but they crucially point out, Colette, that those key negotiators who are working on behalf of IALPA to have those discussions are pilots who are working in the field. They're pilots who are on roster at the moment who are scheduled to be working over the coming days. Uh, their call to the airline tonight is to release those key negotiators. In the meantime, Colette, passengers are continuing to to receive emails asking them whether they want to rebook or receive a refund as flights are being cancelled throughout the week. Our news correspondent Zara King at IALPA headquarters at Dublin Airport. Thank you for all of that.